as protests are happening right now in Carlsbad. This demonstration comes on the same day the Carlsbad Police Department announced it's enacted eight policies to prevent excessive use of force. Our Marilee Moore is there live with what's happening right now. Marilee. Uh, Andrew, we're standing right in front of the spot where the protest all got started just around 2 p.m. earlier this afternoon. And you can see behind me, police still have this part of the road blocked off to incoming vehicle traffic on both sides of the road. And they say it's going to remain that way until all of this wraps back up uh, back here right around this spot around 6 p.m. Protesters gathering in Carlsbad Friday, taking a stand against racial injustice and calling for police reform. I'm sick of police brutality. Too many people of color are getting killed by police and they're getting off scot free, so it's not okay. No justice, no peace. Keep on the police. Carlsbad Boulevard was closed to traffic in both directions between Carlsbad Village Drive and Cannon Road, where the protesters plan to march. The organizers encouraging everyone ahead of time to remain peaceful throughout the event. The protest grew throughout the afternoon as more and more people arrived in waves. Ahead of the event, Carlsbad police said they were investigating a threat of violence made against the protest that was circulating on social media, tweeting in part, quote, We are aware of the social media video and messages circulating, and we are actively investigating. The safety of the community should be everyone's concern. While we cannot share info about an ongoing investigation, steps are being taken to assure community safety. Several businesses could be seen boarding up their windows as a precaution before the protest began. The group marched to Cannon Park, where a moment of silence was held for 8 minutes and 46 seconds, the amount of time George Floyd's neck was pinned underneath the police officer's knee. Carlsbad police announced Friday they're adopting eight new policies recommended by a national campaign meant to prevent excessive use of force by police. Some of those policies, including banning chokeholds, requiring de-escalation tactics, and also requiring other officers to intervene in the event of excessive force. Justice, no peace. And organizers for this event say that they're not associated with the Black Lives Matter movement or any organization, but they say they're just a group of community members gathering for a common cause. We're live in Carlsbad, Marilee Moore, Fox 5 News.